Hey you guys, it's your girl Sophia Monet. Welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. I am now on Gemini. <laughs> I am on Gemini and um, I'm here to do your t uh, June 2020 readings. I did take a break from social media for the Blackout Tuesday um, as far as what I was posting, but I was still raising awareness for um, signing petitions and what you can do um, as far as uh, promoting Black Lives Matter or any uh, thing that is surrounding George Floyd. So I was still doing that. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I kind of took a break. And um, so today is Wednesday and we are on June 3rd here. And by the time you see this video, it may be June 4th already. But yeah, we are still in the first week of June. And so I'm going to continue with doing the monthly readings. And so like I said already, we are now on Gemini. So let's see what Spirit has to say to you concerning your life or whatever is coming, whatever messages come through for you. Okay, so here we go. And I'll be using the Psychic Tarot deck. This is um, by John Holland, and I'll be clarifying the cards that come out with traditional tarot, Rider Waite, okay? Alrighty, so my hotel is a little dim, so again, please excuse the lighting. So Spirit, Ancestors, Guides, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Please give me accurate messages for Geminis for the month of June. Happy birthday, Geminis, by the way. Happy birthday. It's your month. Please give me accurate messages for Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. This is for Gemini. This is for Gemini. What do they have coming? What do they need to hear for the month of June 2020? What do they need to hear? What do they need to know? What do they need to hear? Gemini, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. What's going on with Gemini? Oh, okay. What's going on with Gemini? What's going on with Gemini? Okay, Jimmy Jimmy's. birthday to you. Hey. I just felt that. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's going on with Geminis? What's going on with Geminis? Okay, we're going to go ahead and draw. <clears throat> okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have mental conflict. Yeah. Okay, we have foundations and achievements that came out. We have the destiny card that came out. And we have discontent and boredom that came out. So we have two fours. If you can see at the top of the card, that's the number four. And also here is the number four. So we go from four to the number 10, back to the number four. What I am getting right off the bat here is that you, you are in a mood where things seem to be firm with a home situation with your family, things seemed firm, things were good, and it seemed like everything was lining up for you, for your destiny, your future. It seemed like things were going smoothly or correctly, and you are no longer content with being comfortable. Or I should say, you're no longer comfortable with being complacent. It's like this, 
foundation and achievements. It's like, I, I want something more than just a quiet life at home. I want something more than what I'm seeing every day. And I feel like some of you are very uncomfortable with your family situation. You're wanting more and this is causing a lot of mental conflict for you. You're wanting to do more. You're wanting to see more. You're feeling like Age may be a factor is what I'm hearing. Age. You may be feeling like you're getting older or just something about your living situation is no longer satisfying you. I do not feel like, like you're happy. Spirit to ancestors, guys, divine spirit, Holy Spirit, please clarify foundation and achievements. Why is foundation and achievements here for Gemini? This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Why is foundation and achievements here for Gemini? Yeah. And look, this flipped out in reverse. This is the four swords. This is someone. This is someone who's resting. And this is someone who is tired of resting. Someone who's tired of being complacent. Someone who's tired of not talking, not saying how they feel. Look, and right underneath it is the Ten of Pentacles. This is about a family situation. You're tired of being silent is what I, I feel. You, you probably feel restless. You may not be getting enough sleep either. Tell me about destiny, please. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Why is the destiny card here for Gemini? Spirits, ancestors, guides, please tell me why the destiny card is here for Gemini. Oh, oh, oh. It's a lot of cards. Okay. Yeah, the fool came out. Yeah, you're wanting to do something new. And look, the eight of cups means you're leaving a situation. Yeah. You're leaving something behind. You're tired. Look, judgment is at the bottom of the deck. Mm. You're tired of waiting for something to happen. You're tired. The destiny card is here, meaning your future, what you're destined to do. The full card came out, which means you're skipping off to something else. You're going off on a new journey. You're leaving the Eight of Cups. This man is walking away from old, old goals, old dreams, old desires. He's leaving those old cups in the past and he's going off on a journey. Okay? So that those two cards came out to clarify the Destiny card. So I feel like you're leaving something that seemed like a foundation and now you're getting up, you're going from resting and this came out in reverse. So you're going from resting to feeling restless, feeling like I don't want to be stuck here anymore. It's time for me to communicate how I'm feeling. It's time for me to talk. It's time for me to come out of just being comfortable. Tell me, Spirit, why is discontent and boredom here? Spirits, ancestors, guides, divine spirit, holy spirit. Why is discontent? Yeah. Oh. Okay. In reverse. In reverse. With discontent and boredom, we have the six of wands, which means victory and success. We have the six of wands in reverse. Meaning, you don't see victory, you, you don't see success, you're not feeling very victorious, you may feel like you're losing, you may feel like you're losing money, losing patience, losing time. Then we have the Four of Pentacles that came out in reverse. So, mean, meaning you're losing money, you feel like you're losing money. 
the pinnacles are about money, holding on to your money. I feel I have this feeling like like I I don't even care. <laughs> it's um it's a feeling like I don't care if I lose money. I don't I'm letting go. I'm letting go. Where I once held on, I'm letting go. I'm letting go. And look, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords. So that means fear, anxiety. You're in a state of fear, of anxiety. And I'm feeling like you really want to keep things to yourself. You're, you're probably not telling uh, anyone. But if you are telling someone what's going on with you, you're very bold about it. If you are communicating, you're very bold about it because you're like, I'm tired of being stuck in this family situation and I'm ready to leave. I'm ready to go off on my own journey. I'm ready to discover new things. I'm ready to walk away. I'm finding me. And people may say it's foolish, which is what I see with the fool as well. This may be a foolish decision for you to make. Or people may see it as a foolish decision. But whatever you're getting ready to do, you don't care. That's what I feel. You're not caring what people are thinking about you anymore or what how people feel. But it there, I do feel that there is a warning here because when I get the six of wands in reverse... That's a that's a person who's not experiencing victory. That's a person who is experiencing failure. So also with you going off and leaving, maybe a home situation, maybe a job situation, a situation that was stable for you, I feel like it's saying be careful, be very careful. This does not... Um, apply to all Geminis. Not all Geminis are going through this. But for those Geminis who I am speaking of or speaking to, who this is resonating with, there is a bit of a warning that if you act too hastily, you may run into failure. So really think about your choices, your decisions, because right now I feel like there's a lot of a lot on your mind you're fighting through a lot mental conflict you're fighting through a lot so slow it down and really think about what you want to do and where you want to go how you want to maneuver in life and what your next steps are okay alrighty Gemini so this is what I'm getting for you for the month of June uh, your birthday month June 2020 okay and yeah I was just trying to listen to see if there was anything else. Yeah, this is what I'm getting. So if you would like a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. So please check out the information, read all the way through on how to obtain a personal reading from your girl, Sophia Monet. I look forward to hearing from you. And again, happy birthday, Gemini. Take care. Bye.